Hello and welcome to this detachment review video where we are going to be running through the new, the brand new Space Marine Codex detachments. We're going to be looking at the Firestorm Assault Force today. So this is your Salamander-esque, right? Your flamers, your fire, your burning, your transports. Oh, that took a lot of, a lot of energy. But anyway, <laughs> guys, uh, so most importantly, we're going to be looking at the detachment rule. We're going to look at the enhancements and stratagems available to this army and some key units which we think will work best with this detachment. And then on top of that, we're going to look at an example list. So without further ado, let's look at the detachment rule, mate. So what is the detachment rule? The detachment rule is close range eradication. Uh, and this means that all your ranged weapons in the army mm. have the assault keyword. Right, so this is fantastic for that mission play, being able mm -hmm. to advance and do eligible to shoot. Yes, oh. exactly. Um, very beneficial on those short range weapons. Yes. On any rapid fire weapons mm. as well. Um, so like your melter guns, your flamers, they're all normally 12 to 18 inch range. Yep. Now you're getting extra D6s of movement. Yeah. So you can actually get within range a bit better. Mm -hmm. Really good on like tanks as well, so you can get the right firing lane. Yeah, yeah, definitely. It's almost like having the Gladius Task Force Devastator doctrine, but Ooh, for the entire game. The entire game. Which I think is really, really strong. Very strong ability. In addition to this, oh, if you're, there is more. Oh my god, okay, right. If you're shooting someone within 12 inches, yeah. your ranged weapons get plus one to their strength characteristic. Wow, right, okay, so... It might not seem like a lot. No, but it is. But actually, <laughs> as soon as you start to hit some of those toughness values, yeah. you get to a really, really good state with your army. Mm. The um, Infernus Marines, mm. whom I, I love in this attachment, these guys are strength five base. Yeah. Now at 12 inches range, they're going to be strength six, mm. which means against those hordes, toughness three, we're winning on twos now. Yeah, sisters, armies, your, your Tyranids, your, Tyranids your, your massive swarm, whatever it's called, endless swarm. Yeah. <sighs> Looking tasty. Yeah, it's very good, very mm. good. Uh, and then they, you know, they can actually hurt like tough infantry as well. Yeah, definitely. Then your melters at strength nine mm. now go to strength ten, yeah, at twelve inches, and that's huge because there's it, light vehicles are like toughness nine, mm. so now you win them on threes. And most armored vehicles, like a gladiator, for example, yeah, yeah. is toughness ten, so yeah. now you win it on fours. Mm. So that's that's a really good detachment rule. Yeah, definitely. And it applies to pretty much anything you want to run. Yes. Yeah. So yeah, I really, really like that rule. Yeah, no, I think that's a really fantastic rule. It fits with the theme of, as we said, it's a salamander-esque, right? Is, yes. So um, if you didn't know, the salamanders are a chapter of Space Marines. Their primary like focus is around melter and flamer weaponry. Yes. Uh, they're craftsmen, forge masters. Yes. Um, so it fits the narrative. Really powerful rule. Great for mission play. Great for boosting up strength for your army, mate. What is not to like about this detachment? Exactly. Nice. All right, well... Now we've looked at that, let's obviously, well, before we move on, there is the army rule, so they do still get over some moment for having it's this the moment. Yes, to repeat, yeah. it is reroll hits, Yes. not reroll wounds. There's yes. no reroll wounds anymore, just hits. Yep, so they've changed the rule from the index, so it's now only reroll hit rolls. Mm -hmm. Massive change, but you're probably not going to worry about that on a flamer. Um, <laughs> no, exactly, yeah. and there are ways, like, the list I've built is pretty tasty, because we actually find some ways of rolling it back in. All right, well, I'm, ex I'm excited to, um, to see what you've come up with, Mike. Mm. But right, well, we're going to take a quick break and we're going to look at the enhancements next. Cool. But before we continue, I'd like to give a quick shout out to our sponsor, The Outpost. If you're looking for a great deals on your miniatures, paints and gaming supplies, you, we've got you covered. Their wide variety of exceptional service makes them the go-to destination for all hobby needs. So don't wait, check out The Outpost today. Link in the description below. Mike, tell me about these enhancements. What's the first one we've got, mate? Okay, these are all great. Yeah. They're all great. I love them all. Um, the first one, Champion of Humanity, is, is Tacticus only. Okay, so what models are we looking at here? Pretty much your Primaris ones. So, infer well, sorry, not Infernus, because I'm carriers. Is. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, your lieutenants, your, yes. your captain, yeah. your yeah. chaplains. Exactly, right, sure. exactly. And it's important as well to note that the other big change with the Codex mm. is that firstborn characters don't really exist anymore. No, they've gone. They've gone. So you'd use the Primaris, like, base size. You could still use your firstborn model. Yeah, but they would be essentially a Primaris captain. Yeah, and they can still lead some of those firstborn units. Yeah, if you wanted to. And they're on forty mil bases now, aren't they? Technically, and you would want to put them on forty mil bases. Yeah, which let's be honest is much cooler for a space ring character oh, yeah. anyway. Yeah, definitely, definitely. So champion of humanity. Mm. While the bearer is leading a unit, mm. models in that unit can ignore any or all modifiers to their characteristics or to any rolls or tests made for them, except saving throws. 
That is a very, very powerful ability. That's awesome. Yes. That is awesome. There's, you know, there's modifiers to your movement mm. out there, and we want to advance and shoot, so actually now yeah. we're just going to ignore those. Yeah. Anything that makes us minus one to hit or wound, completely ignore it. Yeah. Anything that wants to reduce our damage mm. or AP, we ignore that too. Yeah. So superb enhancement. It made my list straight away. If I'm honest, I think that's an auto-include. Yeah. Um, I think it's absolutely fantastic. Yeah. Um, especially because the Marine Codex, there's a lot of damage to stuff. Mm. So I'm looking at that specifically that, cool, you want to minus one damage to me? Not today. So yeah, I like it, mate. All right, yeah. what's the next one? Next one's War Tempered Artifice. Yep. Okay, so Adeptus of Sight is infantry only. Yep. Plus three to the, bear, one, to the bearer's melee weapon strength. That's it. I, was, I didn't know whether it was just one of their weapons. Okay. It's apparently all of them. All their melee weapons. All of their melee weapons plus three to the strength. And just the bearer. Just the bearer. Right, so you could put that on a power fist, make it strength 11. Yeah, this is probably best on a Gravis Captain. Okay. Because they get the extra attacks with a second ah, melee weapon. Yes. So you could actually sure. have like a strength um, 7 chainsword. Strength 7 chainsword. As the extra attacks. I think it's damage 2 as well. That's a hefty chainsword. Um, and then you can have the strength 10, sorry, 11 power fist, mm. which actually really helps you into vehicles. Well, we were saying earlier about Melters wounding these on 4s. Mm. We're now wounding this on 3s. Pretty good. That's pretty tasty. That's pretty cool. I like That's it. That's pretty cool. Cool. Next one. Forged in battle. Right. Adeptus of Status model only. Mm. While the bearer is leading a unit once per turn after making a hit roll or saving throw mm. with a model in that unit, you can change the result to a six. Oh, okay. Right. So it's cheeky. It's a shame it's only while they're leading a unit. It yeah. does make a kind of hero hammer uh, thing. It doesn't work with like a hero hammer kind of character. Yes, yeah, sure, sure. Um, it also, so it would be able to trigger um, sustained or lethal. Yes, yeah. so you do put a six in. Mm -hmm. It wouldn't, you can't put it in for wounds or anything, so you can't like manipulate devastating wounds. Right. But you can okay, use that's it for good. saves. That's a nice little balance in exactly. mechanic. Exactly. It's a nice way of keeping morals in your unit alive, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so I could see this in uh, a unit that has invulnerable saves because it means you're always able to save so one. So I could maybe a Terminator Captain. Maybe or something. Terminator, yeah. yeah. You could use it on Blade Guards. Blade Guards. That wouldn't be bad either. Yeah. Um, but yeah, with, a power, with power armor, AP3 puts you on a six. So yeah. actually, it works on pretty much any unit. That you yeah, want yeah, in. exactly. No, I really like that, mate. Cool. Yeah. Uh, last one Adamantine Mantle. Okay. Adeptus to start is model only. Yep. Okay. So you're going to reduce incoming damage by one for all attacks on, okay. onto the bearer. Yeah, brilliant. Um, if the attack's made by Melt or Torrent, yep. you reduce the damage to one. Just on the bearer? Just on the bearer. Okay, right, cool. So, really powerful. Very salamander -y. Very salamander -y. You are, It was like the old avatar of Kane who used to have a rule. Yeah. Was like, it's just immune yeah. to Melter and Torrent. This is really cool because if you hit him with a Melter weapon, it's one damage. Yep. Um, and reducing damage, also not bad on a character. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, for sure. So, decent, decent. Yeah, so he's got his dragon cloak that's just immune exactly. to Melter and, and flame weapons. Exactly. Exactly. That's baller. It is baller. It yeah. is baller. I do like these ones. I think they had some good enhancements. I There's only one auto take for me. Champion of Humanity? Champion of Humanity. Yes. But I do like the ability to keep a character alive. Um, and the six is actually not bad for keeping a unit alive over the course of a game. Yeah, exactly. Um, I do like the strength from being a combat player. I do like having yeah, that, yeah. that idea. It's pretty cool getting a power fist to yeah. like... Yeah, strength you know, 11. Strength like, 11 or Thunder yeah. Hammer. That's pretty ball though. That is pretty yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I like that. I like. Well, yeah. they, they seem really good, mate. So I think it's nice to see that we've got four decent enhancements here. Yeah. Um, so hopefully stratagems are just as good. So mm. we'll move on to them next. And yeah, we'll be on to that now. Let's take a moment to appreciate Colorforge, our fantastic sponsor. Their range of spray paints has become our go-to for making our miniatures come to life quickly and efficiently. The quality and variety of colors they offer are truly unmatched, providing a smooth application for stunning effects every time. Check out Colorforge for your next hobby project. The first one, George. Yeah. Surprise, surprise, Armour of Contempt. Whoa, oh. that's made it into this one. <laughs> I think, what? let's make a full disclosure, every single one of these detachments <laughs> has Armour of Contempt. Um, yes, you're yeah. going to reduce the incoming AP by one for all attacks that phase I, against your guy. It's your, your just unit. such a good stratagem. Um, it's very good. It, it helps Power Armour feel like Power Armour. It does. It does. Yes. Um, so it doesn't make him feel like... Cause, Space Marines sometimes don't feel like Space Marines when you're getting mm. shot by certain weapons. That's true. So having Armour of Contempt does give you that bit of durability. Yeah, and it, it's, it's very Salamander-y, you know, yeah, isn't it? So exactly. I, you know, even if it wasn't in every uh, detachment... It fits it, profile. It, it fits here. And it's about a tactic, uh, so that hasn't changed, so you mm. can use it for free with captains. 
uh, and it's one CP. The next one, Crucible of Battle. Mm. Shooting phase or fight phase, use it on infantry only. Okay. Uh, to the end of the phase, if you make an attack against an enemy unit, sorry, yep. the closest eligible, um, the closest eligible yep. target within six inches, you yep. plus one to wound. Oh, great. So it's like Lance, yep. but it works for shooting within six inches as well. And it works in a fight phase? Yes. So you get plus one to wound shooting and combat within six? That's right. In, in that great. phase, yes. Great. And it's one CP. Also about tactic. Oh, Great. Love it. Great. Flavors. Not only are you plus one strength, you're also plus one to wound. You're wounding custodians on threes with Infernus Marines. Amazing. <laughs> Amazing. Melter now. Melter's crazy good with this, mm. right? Because if you're against something strength that's toughness 10, with your strength 10 melters now because of the detachment, plus one to wound, you're wounding it on threes. Yeah, we're going back to ninth edition melters. Your melters are actually good now. Yeah. Okay. So very good stratagem. Then we've got, um, so there's three transport orientated ones. Okay, cool. I'm actually going to do them all together at last. Yeah, sure. So the next one that's not transport orientated is Immolation Protocols. I actually love this one. I think it's very cool. hilarious. It's very cool. Yeah. In your shooting phase, for two command points, mind. Yeah. But it is a battle tactic. Exactly. So you could use it for free with a captain. Mm. You select an Adeptus Astartes unit from your army that's not shot yet. Yep. And until the end of the phase, their torrent weapons gain devastating wounds. That's just, that's spicy. It's very spicy. Yeah. Um, it's very salamanders -y and actually works the best in an, an actual salamanders army. Yeah, no, it definitely does. Because um, they have ways to get reroll wounds on your flamer weapons. Yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah, this is good. However, I wouldn't say it's necessarily OP. Because if no. you think about the number of sixes you're actually going to roll to wound with flamer weapons, you're probably thinking immediately... Aggressors mm. with flamers because they're twin linked, they get to reroll wounds anyway. But if you run six of them, that's only 66 shots. Yeah. Twin linked. So actually, on average, maybe you get six devastating wounds. Is it really worth it at that stage? It just helps to enhance the strength, um, the damage output of the flamers, right? Um, this one's only really worth it if you're doing it for free, I think. Yeah. Well, I was thinking of putting it on a Bile Predator. So you could put it on a Bile Predator, <laughs> to be fair. It is two CP, so you'd only ever really do it once a game. But yeah. It is kind of funny just thinking. You could also put it on a Land Raider Redeemer. Oh. Which actually is pretty tasty. Oh, that's pretty nice. Because that is 2d6 plus 6. I want my Hive Tyrant damage for, my, two shots. for my Space Marines. I want a Hive Tyrant for Space Marines to just, give so you just, just, just chuck three, out three strats for everybody. Free flame burning everyone. You, you can burn people yeah. over there. You, you can burn yeah. people over there. Exactly. exactly. Um, we call it a creme brulee. Yes. The creme brulee strat. Yeah. Uh, this is really good on a unit of 10 uh, Infernus Marines yes. with a captain. Yep. Um, yeah, because that's 10d6 shots, uh, and then you can get the potential rerolls yep. if you're playing Salamanders. Yeah. Uh, right, so the transports one. Okay. So not only is this attachment all about that close range, mm. there's a lot of transport manipulation in there as well. Yes, there is, yeah. So one of these is rapid embarkation. Mm -hmm. At the end of, your, of the fight phase, okay, Yours or your opponent's. Yep. One Adeptus Astartes transport unit you select that has no models embarked. Yep. And one Adeptus Astartes infantry unit from your army wholly within six okay. of that transport. Not three. Yeah, that's big. Six. That's a big footprint. Um, you can't target an infantry unit in, in, in engagement range mm -hmm. of the enemy um, or one that can't actually, can't actually embark on that transport. Right. And it can't be one that's disembarked that turn as well. Okay. Sure. Sure. They, they basically just get to embark. So you can just jump back in at the end of the fight phase? Yeah. So in short, end of the fight phase, get, get back, back in, in a transport that's wholly within six inches. So I have a question. Yes. If we've got our beautiful repulsor here, mm -hmm. do we measure from the base or from like the hole? Because it's got quite a... Obviously, where, where would you measure that six inches from? So according to the rules commentary, yep. um, you would measure from the hole so or the base. So from the front? So everything. Okay, cool. Right, yep. nice. Yep. Nice to know. Yep. Uh, however, important to note that you can't do it with a unit that's disembarked from any transports that turn. Okay, cool. So you, so you can't, can't get out, shoot, get back in. Yeah. That's not sure. possible. Um, but of course, you could do it at the end of your opponent's next turn or anything mm. like that. Mm. Uh, really good mobility available there. Onslaught of Fire. Right. 1 CP. Yep. Um, this is also a battle tactic. Okay. The other one wasn't. Right, sure. Now, this is uh, in your shoot phase. You choose Indeptus Starties. A uh, unit that's disembarked from a transport. Mm -hmm. Okay, I was about to say infantry, and then I was thinking infantry is the only thing that can disembark from a transport. Because they're the only thing they can get in. But actually, you could get a dreadnought 
come off a Storm Raven uh, and do this, oh, I suppose. Yes. It's cool. I don't know how effective that would be. Anyway, uh, until the end of the phase, each time you make a range attack against mm. a target within 12 inches, you get plus one uh, to hit. Nice. Uh, and if you kill any models in that, that enemy unit, yeah. then you force a battle shock test on them. Oh, sweet. Cool. So you can get out, shoot, and of course, battle shock potentially. Yeah. This is good on Devastators because they have an innate, but this is skill of four plus on their weapons. Yep. So actually getting out, hitting on threes, mm. uh, you'll probably kill a model if you're packing melters, which you probably would in this detachment. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and then you're forcing a battle shot test as well. Mm. Um, so yeah, I do like that one. Yeah, definitely. Uh, and then the last one, Burning Vengeance. Right. This is my favourite one. Right, okay, sure. By far. By far your favourite. By far. Okay. This is a battle tactic, but yeah. because it targets a transport unit, you okay. can't actually use it for free. Sure, but yeah. You because... could make it cost yeah. more mm -hmm. if you had an ability to make CP cost more. Yeah. Okay, so in your opponent's shooting phase, just after your, the enemy unit's resolved its attacks, mm. you select the transport that was targeted, and then one unit embarked within the transport can get out as if it were your movement phase, and then immediately shoot at the enemy unit that shot the transport. Right. How so, cool is that? So someone shoots your, your repulsor. Yeah. You go, um, excuse me, what was that? <laughs> excuse me. Just... <laughs> Open the door, get out, go, what? <laughs> Just Bang. Shoot back. <laughs> Which is awesome. And then you know what? That's nuts. At the end of their turn, yeah. Uh, you just get back in with rapid embarkation. <laughs> <laughs> right. I love this detachment already. It was um, just a, there's, I thought this was the flame of detachment, but it's actually the transport detachment. It's basically the transport detachment. Right, yeah. sure. So um, we're just making sure uh, work of all the amount of uh, dedicated transports the space rings actually yeah. have options to. Yeah, this is yeah, this is, this is great. I yeah. love that stratagem so I much. That's I can't fantastic. wait to use it. Yeah. Um, and it has some really cool tactical uses, which maybe I'll go through in the masterclass. Yeah. It's quite advanced. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, you shot my vehicle. I'm getting out. I'm shooting you back. Yeah, that's that's nuts. Yeah. I do have really a question cool. about the previous one, about the onslaught of fire mm -hmm. one. Mm -hmm. So because it's used on the unit and they're inside the transport, Right. right. Can you? And it's about tactic, right? Uh, so it's actually uh, one unit from your army that disembarked. Okay. So you can use it on the unit after it's got out. Okay, sure, sure, sure. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. right, cool. So I don't think there's any stratagems except that last one. Which is used whilst you're inside the transport. Well. Yeah, and technically that last one actually targets the transport rather than the unit the, inside. The unit inside, sure. Um, so yes, yeah. all of them you could use on uh, with a captain except the last one because it targets the transport. Nice, nice. Mate, I, I think... Honestly, those stratagems, they, first of all, they all have a place, mm -hmm. right? Yep. Second of all, there's some really, really fun ones. Yes. Yeah. And third of all, they're just awesome, mate. They're awesome. There's actually plenty of space for tactical plays yeah. um, and cool sneaky things you can do, uh, which I'm looking forward to. Uh, and yeah, I mean, it's a dynamic detachment. Very dynamic. It works with any chapter, really. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. I love it. It's really cool. Yeah, it's really and cool. it's not like you're just limited to one unit that is going to benefit. Like, there's a lot of, as you said, there's a lot of combos that you can really yeah. do with this this detachment, which yeah. is um, it's going to be fun to play around with. Yeah. Um, yeah. and also figuring out the nuances because we haven't seen a detachment yet in tenth that's been focused on torrent weapons, right? No. no. Um, and like melters, melters have been kind of underwhelming so far in tenth. Yeah. yeah. Um, sisters players. Quite a heart out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I wanted to I'm say sorry. that, but <laughs> I'm sorry. Maybe you'll get something like that. I didn't want the church to come after me. So yeah. I just thought, <laughs> just thought I'd leave that one yeah. out. Mate. <laughs> but yeah, all right then. Well, um, what we're going to do is we're going to go look at some spotlight units next. Mm, all right. And now for a word from our sponsor, C Studios. They are the experts in providing professional miniature painting services, ensuring your armies always look their best on the battlefield. Whether you're a seasoned veteran or just starting out, C Studios can help bring your miniatures to life. Don't miss out on their quality craftsmanship. So first of all, we're going to look at the two salamander named characters, right? So we've got Vulcan Heston, mm -hmm. and we've also got Adrax Agatone. Yes. Or Agrax Agatone. Agrax. No, it's Adrax Agatone. Okay, right. Sorry, I got confused. It's Adrax. Adrax, Lord. not Agrax. You idiot. It's Adrax. Please don't burn me. Anyway, <laughs> don't want to look like Anakin Skywalker. So anyway, <laughs> let's start off with Vulcan Heston. Yep. So uh, yeah, what, what does he do for the army? 
Okay, so uh, Vulcan can be attached to a variety of units now. Nice. Uh, can be attached to Assault Intercessors, Company Heroes, Inferno Squad, Tactical Squad. Brilliant. Okay, cool. However, what he really gives you is Forge Father, his special rule. Yes. In your shooting phase, select one enemy unit within 24 inches invisible to them. Mm. Until the end of the phase, each time an Adeptus Astartes unit, uh, sorry, model, makes a ranged attack yep. with a torrent or melter weapon that targets that enemy unit, you can re-roll the wound roll. Oaths of Moment's back, baby. Oaths, oath, oaths of Moment are back. Yeah. Yes. I mentioned it, I alluded to it earlier. Yes, you get your reroll hits. Now, with all those melters and flamers, you're rerolling wounds as well. Mm. I mean, kind of an auto include in this detachment. Oh, because hands down. Now that devastating wounds with torrent weapons is yeah, actually yeah. realistic. Yeah. Um, yeah, fa I, mean, I mean, fantastic. You, the, the squads you can lead as well, bar the tactical squad. Uh, whoa, 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 whoa. Bar the tactical squad. They've had a glow up in this, uh, this book. Okay, look, yeah, but we're, we're combating squad and them <laughs> out, out of the book. Okay. Anyway, Vulcan. <laughs> Vulcan is actually a baller when you look at him with Infernus Marines. And yeah, yeah, like, yeah. That's nuts. The damage that that can kick out. Yeah, yeah, it's a lot. Oh, it's a lot. He's it's... got his own flamer as well. Oh, what's this? What's this? So what he's, he's got a D6 plus three shot, strength six, AP one <laughs> flamer as well. So if you just have him with the Infernus Marines, yeah. you could, you know, <laughs> yeah. actually get Devil Wounds off his flamer too. And he's strength seven within six. Right? Yeah, that's right. So strength seven uh, within, within twelve. Six, within twelve. And yep. then on top of that, he could also get plus one to wound with strength seven, so we could wound custodies on twos. <laughs> I like it. I like it. I love Vulcan. Um, in addition to that, he's yep. got Seeker of the Unfound, okay. which is so cool. Yeah. Uh, so at the start of the battle, you pick one objective marker on the battlefield. Yeah, yeah. While he's within range, he becomes OC10, <laughs> leadership five up, yep. and has feel on a pain four plus. Well, guess what? He's like, Norn. this is mine. Yeah, he's like, Norn, <laughs> I'm going to beat you today, boy. <laughs> this is my objective. Um, so, yeah, he's great. He's okay, great. Vulcan great. is an absolute standout. He's a beast, and it's nice it, to see that he is... He's had a glow up. He's had a glow up. Yeah. I... Uh, yes. Reborn like the phoenix, I've got a, would say. a cool announcement at the end of this video. Oh, okay. Cool announcement. All right, cheeky. Next is Adrax Agatha. All right, what does Agrax do? So Adrax is a melee powerhouse. He always has been. Five attacks, twos to hit, strength 10, AP2, flat three damage. Oh. Boom. Baby. And guess what, guys? You could stop complaining about Adrax. Agrax. About Adrax. Oh, sorry, sorry. You yeah. idiots. <laughs> Adrax Agatone. Um, because he can now join your Primaris units. He can join play, Blade Guard veterans. Could he not? He couldn't before. He can now. He's he's gone he's gone to training camp. He's gone to training camp. He's, he's like got his badges. I like these guys with swords. Yeah. You know, let me have a chat with them. Mm. Uh, and then they decided, yeah, yeah, we'll follow you into Frankie. Battle. And then they've they've become friends. Yes. We've called the Blade Guard Frankie. Sure. That's a very Salamander name. Um he can also join Company Heroes, Inferno yeah. Squad, Intercessor Squad, Stern Guard Vets, yeah, yeah, and of course Tactical yeah. Squad. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> um more importantly. He's got some cool rules. So while he's leading a unit, they can re-roll their wound rolls in melee. Oh, in melee, sick. All right, cool. I also, like it. oath a moment with all your flames and melters, and yeah. his unit can have it in melee too. Well, oath Perfect. won't affect the flames, but... No, but the melters it will. So sad. Uh, but in melee, <laughs> you're going to get those re-rolls to wound. You just get oath a moment back on blade guard, which is... Yeah. And it, yeah. I think what that he does He definitely for, goes with Blade Guard, is, is what I'll say. Yeah, yeah. I think yeah. what you do with these two is you definitely take them both in the Salamanders list. Mm -hmm. And he, he has your combat threat on an yeah. objective. He's cool. He's a captain as well, so you could potentially put a company banner with him yeah. or a yeah. carry. Yeah. Um, so there's more stuff that you could boost that squad up with. Mm -hmm. And then you've got Vulcan, who is just going, that's my objective, and you're not having it. Yeah, and he, Vulcan's also got the captain keyword. I know he's a chapter master, guys, but he's got the captain he's not keyword a chapter too. Master. Is he not? No. He's um he's basically like a hunter of like the lost relics of Vulcan. Oh, I thought he was a chapter master. No, he's he's the forge master or forge father. Right. So okay. The chapter master is I don't know his name, but I know he's met Dante. Right. Okay. They're good friends. Right. In the law. Cool. <laughs> cool. <laughs> yep. Excellent. Uh, yeah, so uh, Vulcan is a captain, so you can you can attach some of those less, lesser leaders to yeah. him as well. Oh. Uh, the other thing Adrax does is uh, he halves the objective control or characteristic of models in an enemy unit that's engaged in range of him. Just him or his unit? Just him. Cool. Just right. him. So, so while an enemy unit's within engaged range of this model, 
Sure. Um, you half their OC characteristic. Right, so he That's needs great. to be at the front then. Yeah, which yeah. makes sense. Obviously. He's wading in there with his hammer. Yeah, yeah. Valia, um, what's, what's the hammer called? Uh, Malleus Noctum. That's it. Wow. What yeah. a beast. And he's got a flamer pistol as well, which oh, is Oh, of course he does. Called of course Dracus. he does. Yeah. Uh, so more flamers. Uh, I mean, great. Standout characters. Yeah, cool. 10 out of 10. Cool. 7 out of 7, as Steve would say. 7 out of 7. Mm, I like it. Right. Shall we look at some basic space marines now? There is no such thing as a spa basic space marine other than the tactical marine. Okay. Next thing, let's, <laughs> let's look at the Infernus marines. What do they do, mate? Okay, so the Infernus marines, they've all got flamers. Yes. Great. D6 shots each. Their strength, 5. Yep. There's no AP. Oh, okay, but they ignore cover, which yep. is kind of like AP these days. Yep. Um, they're going to benefit from all your detachment rules. These are fantastic with a captain mm. because then you can use that devastating wound strat every battle yes. round for free. Yep. Yep. They're great for setting up Overwatch traps as well. Mm. Um, in our master classes, over time, you'll see that we talk about move blocking a lot. Yeah, yeah. Um, it is a very um, effective strategy mm -hmm. uh, when you're playing uh, the, the game. Uh, and Overwatch potential can counter that. Yeah, so actually, sure. it's a really good unit for, for countering that with Overwatch. These guys are fantastic in some kind of transport, mm. getting out, shooting something that's within six inches for potentially plus one to wound. Yep. Vulcan picks that target and you reroll your wound rolls against it. Mm. Um, so very, very effective unit. Um, and if they do shoot something in your shooting phase, then you inflict a battle shock test as well. On infantry only? Uh, I believe it's infantry only. Yes. yes. Right. Yeah. Sure, sure. Nice. Well, again, that's just going to be similar. They're not battle line, but they're going to represent the battle line for this it, army, right? Essentially, yeah. You're probably going to have like two or three units of these yeah. Um, yeah. just running around. Um, yeah. As you said, great, great all round unit. Mm -hmm. I really like them already. Yeah. And now we've got a detachment that's already boosting them up. But yeah. it is actually worth saying, going back to the blade guards, mm. that the detachment rule obviously is not going to benefit combat units no per se. so no the advancing is going to help you get to objectives mm -hmm. do some being eligible to shoot still because yes just, and you still yes. got pistols yes. so yeah. you have a lot of play tactically for the missions if you wanted that but mm -hmm. the the main stars are going to be your ranged units here your right? ranged unit yes um the benefit with the transports is they they do kind of help your melee get there yeah so if you're taking them anyway you kind of can build for a little bit more balanced lift exactly and you do have that strap for plus one wound within six inches yeah which does work in melee yeah um, which makes obviously Blade Guard and, and uh, Adrax. what's his face? Adrax. Pretty, pretty Adrax. Oh, sorry. You idiot! <laughs> makes Adrax much better in combat as well with his Blade Guard. <laughs> so the next unit we're going to cover yeah. actually is, is the Humble Intercessor. Yes, yes, the Intercessors. These guys, um, if they control an objective at the end of your command phase, that, that objective remains yours until your opponent takes it at the start or end yeah. of the turn. Mm. Now, what that means is these can, at the end of the fight phase, after they've sticked an objective, mm. actually jump into a transport. Yeah, they can, yeah. Uh, and then in future turns, they can drive around the battlefield in the bus, mm. and then they can get off, mm. and then they can sticky another objective. Yep. Then they can get back in, yep. and then go somewhere else and sticky another objective. Nice. And what you can actually do with this, the stratagem where you shoot the enemy yep. after they've shot your vehicle, mm. you can, instead of trying to do damage to them, actually just get a unit of intercessors out on an objective. Okay, cheeky. And then you can have like your 10 OC, mm. and when it comes to your turn, after your opponents had their fun, you can uh, stick in another objective. Ah. So that's actually a very cheeky little unit in this detachment. Yeah, I like um, it. I like it. Yeah. We've got to make sure that they've got their day passes for the bus. Exactly. Obviously. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. So yeah, I like it. I like yeah. it. Really yeah. cheeky. Yeah, well, they don't have the uh, the old age pensioner pass. Well, it depends how old they are. Oh, they're primaries. Yeah. They're quite new, aren't they? They're, they're quite, quite young. Quite young. It's the new generation. It's the 16 to 25. Yeah, tactical marines have the blue passes. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> anyway. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Transports. Transports. Your favourite thing right. in this detachment, right? Transports, yes. Um, they, they make it work, the, yeah. the transports. Now, I'm not saying take loads. I am. Obviously, you want transports that can also do other stuff for you on the table. Yep. But, you know, there's nothing wrong with actually taking tons of rhinos and tons of tactical squads. It is effective. We're going to redo that. Um. <laughs> <laughs> but for me, the best transport is the repulsor yeah. for this detachment. Yeah. Normally, you'd be like, oh, just take an Impulsor. An Impulsor only takes six models. Okay? Well, yeah, it's, it's, it's more of a... That's a, a four-seater, four right? It's, it's, exactly. It's not, it's not a big one. So there's two transports that are fantastic. The Repulsor is the first one I want to talk mm. about. And this is because it has a really cool rule. Yeah. Called Emergency Combat, Combat Embarkation. Sure. Once per turn, 
in your opponent's charge phase, mm. after they've selected one of your units as a target of a charge, yeah. that unit can just jump into the transport and your opponent can select a new target. So there's more combat, embarkation, shenanigans going on with this. Exactly. So you know what, Jord? You've just shot my transport. Mm. I'm going to get out and shoot you. Yeah. You want to charge me? I'm getting back in the repulsor. I don't like this, boss. <laughs> I don't like it. <laughs> it it's great. And mm. it's not even limited to um, one model with this rule can do it. Right. So if you've got multiple repulsors, you can do it, you know, with all of them. Does everyone just... Woo, 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 get out, woo, get back in, you know. Wow. And if you don't charge them, then potentially you could get back in the transport if you didn't already disembark that turn. Yeah, you need to make sure that all these doors are WD-40, mate, because mm. there's going to be a lot of opening uh, and closing. Yes. So, yeah. 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 Mm. Mm. Nice. All right, um, cool. And, of course, you've got a, you know, a host of different weapons. Yeah, you've got half an hour on of the sky. Base on the one model. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> you've got a Laz Talon. What I like is all of these weapons massively benefit from plus one strength. Yeah. yeah. And of course, your transport can just advance and you can shoot as normal. Yeah. So, fantastic. To like, eh? Next, though. Next, we're getting in the realms of legends. Let's redeem it. Let's redeem... The Redeemer. The Redeemer. Redeem the the Redeemer. Redeemer has been one of my all-time favourite tanks in 40k. Not mine. Ever. So the Land Raider Redeemer obviously has those two massive Flamestorm cannons. Yes. They're torrent. They're damaged too. They'll go to strength 7 at 12 inch range. This bad boy can advance and shoot. That is awesome. Okay, in addition to that, of course, you can make a normal move and then get out and charge someone. I'm going to call this one Adrax's personal ride. Adrax the Redeemer. Adrax... Agrax the Redeemer. Agrax the... No! <laughs> <laughs> you idiot! <laughs> <laughs> so this is a great, great, um, great transport. And it's got 14 capacity. Mm. Which means that actually you could have Vulcan and his bros. His bros. His bros. Mm. The company heroes. In, in, that's my preference. Oh, your preference. That's my preference. Heroes. Right, sure. uh, And then Adrax and his bros, mm. the Blade Guard, mm. all in there together having a party. Like, party in, a, like in a limo. Right. Basically, the Redeemer is the limousine of the Space Marines. Yes. Oh, they're going in style, baby. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, yeah, Redeemer, another fantastic transport. Yeah. Um, if somebody wants to charge you while you're next to it, it can overwatch for you because it's, you know, of course a it can. beast. Uh, and if someone does shoot it, you can just get out and shoot them in the face. Mm. So, um, Redeemer, fantastic. Fantastic transport. Repulsor, fantastic transport. Those are definitely two of my highlights. Okay, so... Obviously, we've just named a few. There's so mm -hmm. many units in this codex. The space I've got one more. Oh, you've got one more? I've got one more. Oh, so Because I can't not. Plus, it's been sort of shadowed um, by its other variants. Okay. And I feel like it needs its time in the sun. Right, okay. This is the Gladiator Valiant. Right. Okay, this is the one that has the uh, Twin Laz Talon yep. on the top. Uh, and it's also got a bunch of multi-motors. Mm. Normally, competitively, we've seen the Lancer. A lot, right? Yes. It's more reliable damage um, and it's longer ranged. And you get the re-rolls. And you get yeah. the re-rolls. So the Gladiator Valiant has the rule where if it targets the closest monster or vehicle mm. with its twin Laz Talon, it gets plus one to hit. Just the Laz Talon? Just the Laz Talon. Sure. It is a shame. It would have been good to get it with the Melters as well. But we do have two multi melters and the Laz Talon. The multi melters now go up to strength 10 at 12-inch nice. range. Mm. And then the Laz Talon is strength 11, twin-linked. At 12 inch range and we can advance and shoot with it so it makes up for the short range as well yeah yeah so this tank actually works really really well in this detachment i like it it gives you something other than like your flamers and your vehicles obviously i know the repulsor this is the executioner but the mm. repulsor it doesn't have as much like dedicated anti-tank you've got quite a lot of anti-infantry with yeah. this army yeah but Adding this guy in fulfills that role of, mm -hmm. oh, now I've got some dedicated anti tank. Yeah, absolutely. You, you could run an execution actually as well, because it's oh, yeah, a transport. It does so have you, transport. You know, it probably f fulfills a dual purpose. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, yeah, that's up to you. Nice. But yeah, those are my sort of star units, I think. Yeah, I uh, think the obviously they all sound fantastic. As, as, as I said, you do have a lot of options in this codex. Yeah. It's the biggest codex. It's always going to be the biggest codex. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, there's, there's a lot of options, but these are some great standouts. So thank you for putting them on the spotlight, mate. No worries. Um, so now we're going to look at a list that you've created, cool. and I'm actually terrified to see what you've done, mate. 
We're grateful to have Frontline Gaming as our sponsor. They're a truly one-stop shop for all your gaming needs, from terrain in mats to an extensive range of miniatures in the United States. Plus, their community-focused events are known to foster what we call the Warhammer 40k spirit. So if you want to start playing an event and you're truly passionate about the game, then make sure you attend one of the next Frontline Gaming events. Right, Mike, run me through this list, mate. Who's leading the army? Vulcan, mm. obviously. Obviously Vulcan's leading yeah. the army. I'm going to attach him to some company heroes. Nice. Nice. Okay. So the new kit that's the just new come kit. out. I mean, it's beautiful. It is beautiful. How could I not? Mm. Um, that's quite cool because the units minus one to be wounded oh. while he's leading them. Yeah. Uh, they're four wounds each. And there's an ancient in there as well to give plus one OC. So the OC2 to all of them? For all of them. OC2. And then, cool. of course, if Vulcan gets to his objective, he's OC11 himself. Yep. You're taking so, that off a Norn. Yep. So <laughs> now you've got this five model unit that's OC 17. Is that right? 17 sounds right? It sounds it sounds about right. 18. OC 19. OC a lot. OC 9 is 10 for Vulcan. Yeah, 11. And then Vulcan. 11 for Vulcan and then 8 for the four guys. So OC 19 from five models on an objective. Pretty cheeky. That's very cheeky. Mm. Um, but he could lead someone else in the, in the army. Yeah, yeah. I've then got Ajax Agatone um, leading up some Blade Guard. Agrax. Adrax, you idiot. Right, there we go. That's the last one. Thanks for doing that. <laughs> um, so we've got Adrax leading the unit yeah. uh, alongside a Blade Guard Ancient. Yes, nice. Because I wanted to double down on his ability to half OC yep. by giving his unit essentially double OC. Yeah, I like it. So um, that's very cool. And I've given him the Champion of Humanity enhancement. Okay, so, so that that's might the ignore be... modifiers. Oh, great. So on. Uh, cool. So Adrax and six Blade Guard. And this yeah. guy, they're ignoring modifiers. Once per game, the Ancient as well can, can trigger their ability. Mm. And the unit gets plus one to their attacks characteristic. And so does Agarax Earthshade. Including nice. Adrax Agatone. Earthshade. You <laughs> idiot. Um, so that's that unit. Nice. Okay. Then we've got a Lieutenant with Combi Weapon. He's changed in this codex. He has. He's a beast. Yes. He's More very beast cool. than he was. So he now just what picks an, a, an objective. Picks one objective. And whilst he's on the board... Everyone in your army gets to re-roll wound rolls of one against enemy models or units on that objective. Perfect. I love it. It's going to help my army. That's great. Yep. That's great. Nice. Um, so he's in there. Cheeky little mission play unit. Yeah, and yeah. And also just suits the salamanders. Thing. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Then I've got a Primaris Captain. Mm -hmm. I've given them a shield in case I do want them in some situation to go with the Blade Guard. Yeah. Also makes them a bit tougher. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and then I've also given them the minus one damage. Um and the, mantle. Uh, right, sure, sure. Uh, yeah, and then of course it's better against Melter, etc. So actually having this guy with now six wounds with the shield mm. and minus one damage is going to keep them alive. Yeah. Um, I'm probably attaching them to the ten Infernus Marines I have in the army. Okay. For that devastating wounds. Yeah, yeah. That's all the characters. Mm -hmm. uh, I've then obviously got the six blade guard I mentioned. Yep. Uh, and then I've got two units of five Devastator Marines. With multi-melters? With multi-melters. So oh, five yeah. Marines, four multi-melters in there. Mm. Um, these are going to be running, uh, jumping into some repulsors. Yep. Which can carry them. Yep. There's no like Tacticus um, restriction anymore yep. uh, on, on those guys. So two units of five Devastators. Cool. One Gladiator Valiant. Yep. Cool. Uh, an Inferno Squad of ten. Obviously. A Redeemer. Yep. Party Bus. Party Bus. Yep. Two repulsors. Nice, nice. So the Infernus Marines can go in one. Yep. And then the Devastators slash uh, some Intercessors can go in the other one. Yep. And then finally a Scout Squad. Right, and so that's your infiltrating... Infiltrating, prevent... screen. Yep. They can come off the board and go back on again. Yeah, sure, sure. Uh, so I'm relying on the Scouts and the, the Lieutenant yep. to do any like stuff I don't really want to do with the rest of the army. Yeah, sure. And then the Intercessors can help as well. Mm -hmm. The fact that we're transports means we've got quite good reach. Yep. So if I do need to like cleanse something, a transport mm -hmm. can go and I can get a unit out to cleanse. Yeah, because the fact that you've got three transports here, it just, it, there's so many different options to do other things. Exactly, right? exactly. And there's a lot of options for who I put in what as well. Yeah. Um, yeah, I really like it. And because all three vehicles don't have a restriction on, on like armor type that yeah. can go in them, yeah, yeah. Um, there's also space for potentially the lieutenant to jump in one yeah. if I want. And scouts can go in them too. Yeah, exactly. Which is cool. So everyone's welcome on the bus. Everyone's welcome on the bus. Um, yeah. That is the list. It sounds I love superb. It. it sounds, I can't wait to get stuck in. It sounds super fun. 
Yeah. Jumping in and out of transports, yeah. going around the board. It doesn't sound like really oppressive, like damage wise. No, um, but no, I think not, not that it's still gonna it's gonna do damage and it's gonna be effective at the mission. Yeah, exactly. I think it's a completely different take on Space Marines. Well, one that we haven't seen in a very long time, right? Mm -hmm. Salamanders players, I'm sure, have been playing similar sort of like styles without mm -hmm. obviously the enhancements and strats, but yeah. still been taking Vulcan and Adrax. But now it's nice to see that we're back in the days where we can have a specific mm -hmm. like theme for the chapter. Yeah. And we can have the, the founding chapters back, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I like exactly. it, dude. I like it. And I can't I know you've loved painting. This I green. loved painting Adrax Agatone. Yes. Um, and here's my announcement. Let's let's I'm gonna play Salamanders. Oh I'm doing a Salamanders army. Okay. Um I fell in love with the green yes. from Adrax, and I'm going to do a Salamander's Army. Mm. Uh, and I'll probably try and build up what, I, what I've just told you about yeah, this yeah. list, because it sounds super fun. But yeah, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I'm doing excited. Salamanders. Yeah, I'm excited to see you actually have like have a full Salamander's Army. Yep. We've, we've got the characters already and stuff, so yep. it's, it's hopefully we can feature them on the channel soon. Yeah, that'd be cool. And um, we can show this this army that you've made in full force, right? So, yeah, awesome. Um, yeah, dude, thank you for, for sharing that. And... Obviously, I'm so excited to see how, how it all develops. Guys, if you have any questions, obviously put it into the comments below. Um, anything you're, you're looking forward to about this detachment, obviously put it in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next detachment video very soon.